Hello, everybody. God bless you and welcome back to KPTV. I'm Apostle Catherine Price. And if you're here for the first time, I just want to welcome you uh, back to our, or welcome you rather to our broadcast. I hope that you are having an amazing day on today. Uh, we're getting ready to get started. I want to talk a little bit about uh, Texas Power Grid and how it has entered an emergency mode. That's right. But before we get started, started I want to say welcome to anybody that is new on this broadcast uh, I hope that you feel welcome enough to stay we are a body of believers that come together as often as we can we have uh, in a session we have a discipleship program and we have a service once a week on Fridays our Sabbath service uh, we have informational videos called the hour to know where we keep you informed with what is going on in our world today we don't don't ignore the elephant that is in the room. So if you want to be a part of all of this, please, please do us a favor. Hit the subscribe button and dive in. We welcome you and we want you to be a part of our family. Okay, so make sure you hit the bell notification as well two times until you see all. And that way you will be uh, notified every time we upload a video we upload our videos every Wednesdays and every um, Wednesdays and Thursdays I want to say I'm sorry Wednesdays and uh, Saturdays but we are on here almost every day of the week either streaming live or doing something okay so if you don't get a notification if you click all and then you see the all on the bell notification and you click it and you should get all our notifications but if you don't please come and check the channel for yourself okay because that's all i'm saying but make sure you check out our videos on wednesdays and saturdays for our uploads you want to be a part of the service you have to just be on here or on my facebook page on our live videos uh at Catherine Price Ministries and we are always streaming there um, as far as our service is concerned 630 Central Standard Time on uh, Fridays okay and it's a whole service that will be going on online so with that being said guys I'm sorry it takes so long I want to welcome all of those repeat viewers I am here for another video to keep you informed remember guys we're doing this for you so that you can be informed and we're also giving it to you from a Christian perspective okay so there are many things you're not going to hear about and the things that you are hearing about you're hearing it from a Christian perspective perspective so with that being said thank you all for commenting liking and tagging and sharing our broadcast the everything that you do is not going unnoticed you're supporting us and you're helping us and we thank you for that okay so with that being said I wanted to share with you on today um, about Texas and what they are saying there now I don't want to just drop this information on you and leave you um, thinking that we're not interested in praying for our neighbors amen our neighbors because I'm not far from Texas I'm only four hours away and so if any of you all know I am originally from Texas and um, this is the latest update uh, concerning there now I don't know the everything concerning it but the the headline says uh, Texas power grid enters emergency mode last night to avoid rolling blackouts okay so let's see when this was dated uh, let's see they there's no date on this but this was recently because I just uh, got this off the website okay um, this was recent um, they have September the 7th over here and so today we are on September the 8th so this article was September the 7th so this must be recently happening okay so this is Texas they're talking about the power grid it says that the state's power grid operator uh, triggered its emergency operation on Wednesday evening allowing it to call on all available power generation 
uh, generations. Uh, I don't know if they was trying to say power generators to stay uh, ahead of demand um, and bringing it a step closer to a worst case scenario of ordering rotating power outages. If the Electrical Reliability Council of Texas takes that step, the location and duration of power outages would be controlled by individual electrical utilities. For example, CPS Energy uh, Presidents and CEO Rudy um, Garza in San Antonio said last month, when conditions look tight, that outages would last for uh, between 10 and 15 minutes for their customers. Now, you know that's not true because they got a lot of people in Texas. So they're saying that the power outages will last between 10 and 15 minutes for customers. Now, I know that not to be true right there. The representatives for other utilities said the, uh, uh, the duration of power outages and whether they would rotate would depend on what they hear from the ER, e -R -O -C, e -R -C -O -T. okay, I don't know if that's the word or they just wanted you to spell it, um, which calculates how much demand must be reduced to keep the grid from falling. Um, outages would likely be uh, necessary for only a few hours if uh, the ARCOT, I'm going to say that, uh, required them on Wednesday night because demand typically falls and wind generator generations, I wonder if they're trying to say generation, because they're saying wind generation. I'm going to say it like they have it because that don't make sense. Um, outages would likely be necessary for only a few hours if uh, ERCOT required them on Wednesday night because demand typically fall and wind generations typically rise after sunset. Texas can't produce more wind power than any other states. ERCOT has asked Texas to uh, conserve energy 10 times this month because of the high demand for power as uh, ex excessive heat has gripped the state. On Wednesday, uh, wind powers was forecast to be low, okay? The afternoon and evening hours tend to be tightest as people are returning home from work and crank down their thermostats. Solar power generations, I'm going to say generators, has, <laughs> has grown significantly in the recent years in Texas, also dwindles as the sun sets. Unless I just don't know what that is, because I don't. Um, grid operators ask power users to cut back their electricity consumption between 6 p.m., and 9 p.m. Wednesday. Uh, power customers can um, power customers can conserve by turning up their thermostat a few degrees and refraining from using large appliances such as washing machines, clothes dryers during this period. ERCOT said it was calling on large power users to reduce their consumption and asking other major U.S. grids to provide what they could or what help they could. The ERCOT grid, which serves most of the state, has the limited connections to the larger grids that serve the rest of the nations. The state has broken its power demand record 10 times so far this summer, wow, because of economic and pollution growth or population, I, I'm tired, y'all. Uh, the, the state has broken its power grid record 10 times for uh, so far this summer because of economic and population growth and the 
and the punishing heat. Okay. So real quick. Now, how are they going to add to all of that EV, EVs? Think about that. Aren't they talking about everything is going to uh, EVs, electric vehicles, and you got a power grid that can't even cover the needs of the people, and all of a sudden you're telling me that they're going to uh, start demanding that people stop using gas and um, start using electrical vehicles. How do you think that's going to work out? You know, they've been talking a lot about Texas power grid for many years. And uh, there are some things to say about that, but this is not the place to do it. Uh, I believe that there is a fight uh, that is coming down to it. And, um, that's going to be something that you're going to see them try to implement all kinds of things that is going to um, try to make it hard for the Texans to live. And that's anywhere that people are pushing back. So if that is the case, like Florida, you see all kinds of things that is happening. People was running there at one time. But if you're trying to make a difference, they're going to target that place. So I just pray tonight or it is night when you see this video, it probably be daytime, but I just pray to God that you all, if you're in Texas, we're praying for you, but keep Texas in your prayers and the birth pains are coming. Matthews 24 and eight says all of these are the beginning of birth pains. He said, when you see all of these things, they're at the beginning, then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death. And you will be hated of all nations because of me. He said at that time, many will turn away from the truth because of the persecution and will betray and hate each other. He says, and many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. We are seeing that today. He said, because, because of the increase of wickedness, the love of many in this day that we're seeing now is going to wax completely cold. There won't be any love. And he goes on to say, but the one who stands firm or endure to the very end throughout all of this, the same shall be saved. And I just want you to know that we are living in some very troubling times. There are birth pains that are coming from every angle. I hope that this does not deter you but it makes you become more and more determined to walk with the lord and to please him so we're going to be lifting up texas and we're going to be asking god to keep them covered in our prayers i hope that you will join me and i'm just here to give you the latest news in case you have not heard certain things but we are no uh by no means uh declaring anything we're letting you know what is going on and we're definitely going to take it up in prayer and pray against it we have loved ones family members and friends that are there and in all of these places that de devastation is happening it's called birth pains we know that this is only the beginning of sorrow so as a people we definitely have to hold on because things is going to get bad so this is all i have for you in this video uh please stay tuned to all of the videos that we post uh we post every um wednesdays and every saturdays and I'm going to try to get all of the videos out and up by 11 a.m. on Wednesday and 11 a.m. on Saturdays. OK, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please make sure you thumbs up the video and leave me your comments. Are you experiencing any of these uh, things? I know that there are a few people here uh, on our broadcast that is from Texas, maybe about seven or eight people so please let me know i know a few of them i can call them by name let me know if you guys are experiencing this and i just want you to know that you will be in my prayers and i will bring it to the attention of the fueling station as well in our services i'll see you in the next video bye for now